Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome to, well, it's Minecraft. This is Minecraft, but it's not, because it's Dragon Quest Builders, because you can see that right there on the screen. But basically, this is Square Enix decided they were going to make their own Minecraft, except they were going to do the one thing that always meant I could never properly get into Minecraft, which is they've given Minecraft a bit more context because I love the idea of Minecraft like on a conceptual level like you know the world's biggest Lego set fantastic but as a game I need just a little bit more context and story and reason to get me through so Dragon Quest Builders is basically that it's Minecraft but with a bit of story and town building and stuff for context so this this could be very interesting to me indeed Okay, time to design myself a character. When you say design yourself a character, basically just means give yourself a hair colour. Yeah, that's actually literally it. You can just change your skin colour, hair colour and eye colour. You can't actually change any of the clothes or hairstyle or anything. Now, I'm no expert at computer games, but I'm gonna say that there is the good guy. I am the Dragon Lord, Master of Master, King of Kings. Yes, indeed, in Skyrim, this guy would be the good guy. Come, take thy rightful place at my side. Do so and I will grant unto thee dominion over half this world. Good offer. Thou wishest not for half the world? Wilt thou not reconsider? Tis an offer few would refuse. Sadly, I don't get the option to just say, you know what? Good deal. I'm just going to take half the world and be happy about that. A single foolish choice has plunged this hallowed land into darkness. Beneath benighted skies, my children crawl as insects on the earth, powerlessly awaiting their own destruction. And here I am. Okay, John, my child, you are finally awoken. Oh, I'm getting real ocarina of time flashbacks here. Do you remember who you are? Do you remember what you are? I see. So you have no recollection of before. Unfortunately, it seems like I didn't choose the half thing. Or maybe I did choose the half thing. Who knows? So, runny, jumpy, head over towards white petals for health top up. Lovely. John, you have been blessed with a special power. The power to combine raw materials to build items anew. You can work at this tree stump. Use the white petals you gather to prepare some healing cream. Lovely. So, when I said this has got more context than Minecraft, not much more. Rather than just being a bloke wandering around who can combine stuff into other stuff, now you just happen to be the mystic chosen one with amnesia who mysteriously has the power to combine stuff into other stuff. The men and women who inhabit this world have lost that power of creation. Okay, got a basic stick. Beat things apart, would you believe they break and they become blocks. Lovely. So I've got some materials, use the D-pad to cycle between those, then just go over here and lay some down about there. Should do it. Lovely. And now I've made a little, let's make a proper, there we go. That's also, ooh, human remains. Get some bone, get some, oh, you can't break them apart for bone. That's a shame. When your eyes adjust to the brightness, you'll see the world of Aleph Guard before you. Light was lost to this land long ago and now the darkness rates. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm getting mixed messages here. John, my child, you must use the power within you to rebuild the city of Cantlin to its former glory. All right, then. Take this banner of hope in hand and seek the source of the light you see before you. Even as the darkness closed in around them, the men and women of Cantlin flew this flag to the bitter end. Plant the banner into the land once more, that its bountiful light may serve as a symbol of Cantlin's restoration. Okay, fine. Now, if I know anything about this sort of game, if there's a tree, the tree needs to be knocked down. Also, ooh. Oh, okay, so fruit on the ground, you need to actually chop before you gather it. And can I actually cut? No, my current stick is not good enough to cut down a tree. Truly, I have failed at Minecraft. All I can do is cut up little sticks. Dear, oh dear, we'll have to do better than that in time. And I could put down the banner of hope. Or, I could go and murder those monsters over there! I kind of notice my hero even sounds a bit like Link when they swing their sword. Yeah, kind of very child Linkish. So this, I'm guessing, is the ruins of an old city. Hello, we got a sign here. Message written on the signpost. The monsters always attack from this direction. We must build a wall here to defend the city. Okay, intriguing. So, grab flag, shove flag in thing. And apparently I've restored light to this particular, what, 20 by 20 patch of land. Marvellous. 
People near and far will be attracted by the banner's beckoning light. Look, my child, here's one already. Well, that was bloody fast. And now we've got ourselves a person. Hello, who are you? What's this funny flag doing here? There's something special about this place. So bright and inviting. It's, it's really not. Like, there's barely any difference. It's just like a really sunny day next to a moderately sunny day. They're both fine. Was this really what brought this kingdom to its knees? That the people just, you know, couldn't mentally deal with the idea of it being slightly overcast and cloudy? Was that all it took to destroy the kingdom? So this here's Pippa. So she's just wandering around now and you have an exclamation mark meaning you've got a quest for me. Hello. What's that? You're the one who planted the flag here. Yes, indeed I am. Your first step in rebuilding the city must be to house those who join you in living here. Okay then. I mean, I would feel bad about the fact that I'm just basically, you know, filling in a wall with bits of earth, but clearly someone else who was also an inferior build to the person who came before came along at some point, because there's two different types of stone here. So you know what, it's already a bit of a patchwork house, so it's probably fine. There we go, house sort of repaired, doesn't have a roof, but it'll flipping do. That's incredible. Um... Yeah, sorry, Pippa. Um, I'd actually, I don't have a house of my own yet, so this is where I live. Good luck in your hovel over there. Just to make sure she doesn't steal this house from me. There we go. So we need something to light the room up. Well, I've just been given a bunch of stuff. Go over to the build. I can now have, ah, light saucers. I can either have a torch or a bonfire. Bonfire would require, uh, yeah, two broken branches and some blue glue. Or a torch would require one broken branch and one blue glue. So basically, I murder monsters and I use their remains because they're flammable. Got it. I tell you what, I'm feeling generous. You can have a proper full bonfire, not just a torch. Lovely. There we go. John makes a bonfire and I'll also make a torch too. Five torches, in fact. Okay, you make five a go. Beautiful. So that's what building means. You pick stuff up from around here and somehow changed it into a torch, right? Pippa, you're a little bit slow on the uptake, aren't you? So a room needs at least walls two blocks high, a door and a source of light to stave off the darkness. Got it. And I've made myself a staircase I'm assuming only I can use, so I've continued to block off the door just in case Pippa gets any funny bloody ideas. There we are. John builds an empty room. The torch has gone on the floor, not the wall, apparently. Oh, darn it. She found her way in anyway. Boo. Sadly, because there's no staircase inside right now, she has no way of getting back out again. Okay, fine, I guess I'll clear this out for you. Do, 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 there you go. I am so nice to you. If we had two beds, we could sleep next to each other. Pippa, this is all going a bit fast. You only just walked out of the cloudy wasteland and met me 15 minutes ago, blimey. So, I need grassy leaves to make a straw mattress, okay. And I'm guessing I need to chop down some grass for that. So that looks like grass right there. Yes, indeed it is. Lovely. Let's just find little bits of grass, chop it down, and we'll be able to make beds from that. I can even make a better attacking thing too. So my cypress thing is attack plus one. My oaken club will be attack plus five. Yes, I'll gladly have one of those too. And if I had coarse cloth, I could make myself some basic armor as well. Got it, but I'm going to need mattresses for now. I need... Ah! Just three. Perfect. I've got plenty. So make one of those and then make another one too. And go over to my Oaken Club. Lovely. Now, does that mean I can break down tougher tiles or anything? Uh, nope. Still can't break down rock, unfortunately. Right. Head in here. And now lay down the two beds right next to each other. Bow chicka bow wow. So that now counts as a basic bedroom. Any room needs the walls, the door and the light source. But if you add beds, it becomes a basic bedroom. Got it. Bloody hell, I've built a double bed and Pippa just comes sprinting in. She is very, very keen. There we go. I've replaced a torch with an actual little kind of like fireside thing. Here. Actually, you know, let's just make a proper little fireplace here. There we are. I've got two beds. Right in front of the fireplace. Pippa, we are going to have a fun evening tonight. And with the starting quest done, time has now started passing. Lovely. And we've also got food up in the top left now as well. Lovely. So anytime I want to, I can just eat some food. Next up, I need a chest. For that, I need some broken branches. That's fine. There's a bunch of them just sitting around. And I've got my new oaken club now. Beautiful. All right, one chest, lovely. There we go. I'm presuming I should put that in my and Pippa's bedroom. 
Okay, Pippa wants a workroom and she's given me a plan for me to have a little look at here. So she wants something that looks like this. So that is presumably, that's the workbench at the back there, a door at the front and then a torch next to the workbench. No, there's not an obvious space here, so we're gonna have to tear down the workbench, grab it, and we'll shove that on later. Right, let's just tear down some stuff here. I feel like this spot right here would work. And now visibility goes down like crazy. Pippa goes to bed and just keeps kind of yelling out of the bedroom with the fire and the closed door. Hey, make me a workroom. No, make your bloody self a workroom. I'm gonna bed too. A little bit of grass grows overnight, but we can just clear that out. Now we just need to, yes indeed, fulfill her specifications here. Shouldn't be too difficult to do. Okay, walls completed. Workstation goes right in there. A torch needs to go here. And we also need that chest I had earlier. Let's just get that back up again. And the chest apparently goes into your room, even though I bloody built it. Now we just need... Ah, now we just need a door. Fine. Where do we get a door from? Hopefully we've got enough straw ready. One broken branch, uh, three grassy leaves. Yes, indeed. Build one of them. Lovely. That goes right... Is that... So no, that's the right spot right there. That should be it. I think that is a stonemason's workshop. Nice. And that gets the score of my city up even further. Pippa just runs and then slams the door in my face. I hate Pippa. Ah, wait, she doesn't want a torch. She wants a bonfire. Got it. Okay, never mind. Now that should be better, I think. Here we are. We've completed Pippa's picture. John builds a stonemason's workshop. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. Oh, I was about to block up the door. But no, she's just climbing over the bloody wall. That's incredible. Incredible, it sure is. You know be even more incredible? If you actually contribute to this society in some way, you parasite. When I was on my way here, I saw a suspicious looking man lurking around nearby. He looked a bit of a weirdo, so I waited until he went away and ran straight here. But maybe if we asked him to come and live with us, he might lend a- Wait, hang on. You saw a suspicious weird guy and you'd like to invite him to this city. Pippa, this is why you don't make any of the decisions around here. He was on the other side of the mountains the last time I saw him. Go find him, John. Get him to join us. Okay, fine. I'll do that. So quest marker now appears on the compass. I just head in this direction and head to the other side of the mountain. Got it. So around here we also find on the way past some... Ooh! Broken barricade. What's this sign saying? My pledge is emblazoned at the top of this sign. There's a lot of writing underneath with you like to read it. Yes, what exactly is this about? How many years have passed since the vile and wicked dragon lord enshrouded our realm into- It's not that dark! It's just slightly muggy! Now the big question, do I melt in water? Turns out, yes. So this raises other interesting questions. Hang on, I'll get as close to the water as we can. Now, what if I dig- Yeah, if I'm starting like, say, over here, and then I just start uh, digging down. So now I go over here. Clear out some more space. Dig down some more. Yep, fine. Now we're just digging down. And now we're going now. Now we're below the water table. I'm sure of it. Okay, so now I'm in the hole. Now I'm just going to dig towards the water. I'm going to see what happens. I mean, the logical answer is I'm about to drown myself, but we're going to find out. Yep. Yes, the answer is I... Oh, wait, hang on. No, maybe. I've flooded this chamber, but I'm not dead. Not yet, anyway. Oh, okay, the camera's recovered slightly here. So, yes, I did. I have managed to flood this chamber. But having flooded this chamber, I'm not really sure. If I can plug up the leak, I don't think I can. Wait, I might just be able to dig my way out of this hole. I can do this. This is good. So as it turns out, it's very difficult to dig your way out of a hole. Never mind. So my working theory is I am a robot. Because I'm now underwater, but I seem to be having no trouble with, like, breathing or whatever. There's also no way for me to dig my way out of this hole. But because I'm at the bedrock, there's no way to dig down further to drown myself. I think I'm just trapped here forever. Wait, wait. I think I might be almost out. If I can just, no, take out this, this one. 
This one. Yes. No. Maybe. No. no! Sweet, sweet death. That's all I need to do. Right, so I've learned my lesson. Basically, never go digging near water again. Don't Basically, just don't dig at all, actually. Digging at all is probably a bad idea. Where's that quest bloke? Well, I found his campfire. I'll have that, thank you. And I think we found our bloke, who possibly decided to try and protect himself from the monsters by, yes, just surrounding himself with earth blocks, which is pretty much what happened the first time I played Minecraft as well. Yes, good tactics. Those rotten monsters have buried me alive, they've completely covered me in earth and I can't get out. Please, whoever you are, get me out of here. So I can do that. Ooh, but I'd rather do it in like a more dramatic fashion. I'd rather like tunnel you out, to be honest. So let's do that instead. So straight down, there we go. Okay, so now we're underground. Now we just dig up. And oh, oh dear. I think I accidentally just sent him slightly underground there. Hang on, don't worry. We have managed to officially dig underneath him. That's fine. Now we've just, now we've put him in a hole. Hello. Free at last. I cannot thank you enough, young man. Wahahaha. <laughs> you may make whatever strange face you like. I'll find my way to your town whether you like it or not. Yeah. Feel like we shouldn't have rescued this guy, actually. So anyway, Rolo, uh, good job joining the party and being in the party. I'm going to go back to my town now. You enjoy your new pet. Bye. Admittedly, it's definitely going to get dark long before I get home. So when it says all of the monsters come out at night, I guess we're about to figure out just how bad those monsters are. Now, basically, all the monsters just want to get a good night's sleep and I'm just killing all of them. So I guess it turns out all along the real monster was man. Find that funny man. Um, I did, and then he basically threatened to come to our city, whether we actually wanted him to or not, so I left him buried in a hole. I think it's probably for the best. Or well, decided to go over the mountain rather than around this time, and I found giant fire-breathing things. Chimeras, apparently. Lovely. And now I figured out how to make a chimera wing. A fastly tied fan of fluttering feathers instantly transports you to your base. Nice. Hang on, come here, Chimera. Now that I've got a new oaken club, you cannot stand up to me. Okay, I feel better now that I'm seeing that he's actually pleading from inside his hole to be taken to town. That's kind of more acceptable. That means he knows his place. There we are, Pippa. I've brought the creepy weirdo. The Canton Chronicles describes a special tool that can be crafted from the feathers of the... I am so one step ahead of you, Rollo. So I've got the Chimera Wings, but I think I've fallen for an elaborate scam here, which is he basically just said, Hey, I bet you can't head over there into the mountains and find Chimera Wings for me. So I went over there and I made the Chimera Wings, and I've got back into town, ready to show him the Chimera Wings, and basically he's just gone to bed in my bed with my wife in front of my fireplace. So, all right, well done. I got very much outplayed there. He decided to compensate me for sleeping with my wife by giving me four broken branches. Again... Feeling a bit ripped off here. Oh, Pippa wants to talk. Yeah, Pippa, me and you actually have quite a lot to talk about right now. Pippa wants a kitchen. And for that, she's going to need a cooking fire. Okay. And this time I've not been given a plan. I've just been told, hey, get on with it. So that's fine. I can probably convert one of these existing rooms into a kitchen pretty easily. The workshops here, I'd quite like, yeah, the kitchen to be right here as well. No, no, I just want the... There we are, just the stone. Lovely. Now that we've got that, we can head up here and just basically fill out this room a little bit. I'd like to put a ceiling on, by the way, but that just doesn't seem to be a thing that happens. Yeah, that's a good enough starting point for a room right there. Over to the workshop. So I'm going to need a bonfire, the station for the bonfire, a door and a chest in it too to put the food in. So, straw door, need one of those. Fine. Got one of them. Lovely. So, in here. We need ourselves one cooking fire, lovely, and beside it, one chest, and then there, one uh, door. Placing things precisely where you want them can be a little bit on the tricky side, by the way, because this game is PS4 only. I've made my first crude kitchen, marvellous, you can only make smutty food in there. Residents will cook food and put it in the chest. Okay, so residents do actually do things for you. That's nice. That's 400 XP. Pippa runs into the kitchen. She's so thrilled with that. You know, this crappy little space right here between like the kitchen and the workshop. I feel like this, this is where Rollo the bastard lives. Yeah, that's perfect. I made Rollo a basic bedroom, by the way. I made sure his bed was surrounded by torches just to make sure he never, ever gets any sleep, bastard. 
Now he also wanted me to build him some cooked mushrooms. I could make a fried egg. Presumably I'm going to need eggs for that. Yes, monster eggs. That seemed risky. Or I can make shrooms on a stick. For which I need... I would have thought I'd need a broken stick for that, but apparently not. No. So I can now build certain basic decorations as well. Like, what is a pot and how do I build one? Pot requires earth and goo. Well... Fairly simple, but alright then. I could make quite a lot of pots as well, but I think I only need one. Lovely, I just need that one pot. Actually, you know what? I'll make just two. So we're gonna have one pot for the kitchen. And that, ooh, my town has leveled up. And I celebrate by holding a pot above my head. Marvellous. No, no, we're not done with the quest yet. I need to put another pot in this room over here. I like the idea of, ooh, yes, a fire pot. We can have a fire pot right there. Nice. Also, because this is my and Pippa's house, I believe these seeds here cause flowers to grow. So if I plant them here, then... Ooh, nice. Now, now I've got nice flowers outside my house. Beautiful. And if I wanted some nice grass in here, this grass seed I found... Ah, that just means grass shows up. Oh, that's much nicer. That's much, much nicer now. So now, we've got a pot, we've got a bonfire, we've got some lovely flowers outside. Oh yes, that is much more like it. And let's just very quickly probably fill out the wall. That's probably a sensible thing to do. Yep, right there. Oh, that's a nice touch, actually. If you do actually have just one fire versus many fires in a room, it genuinely makes a difference to the level of brightness. Nice. And with this door, I have completed setting us up a proper walled city. The game has actually told me to do this, by the way. I just kind of felt like doing this. So now, I have completed walling off the city. So if the monsters come, they won't be able to get past the wall. The only way in or out of this city is through this here door. Also, I probably ought to eat some stuff before I die. So there's no levelling up in this game other than by using better weapons. You'll never get better by fighting monsters, it's only by crafting better weapons and armour. Got it. He suddenly started talking about flipping swords crossing or something. Well, that's fine. I've got the best weapons and armour I'm allowed to craft at this point in the game. So, Pippa, look, I've made you walls and doors for a reason, alright? Also, let's just very quickly use the Seed of Life, get my maximum health up. Lovely. Now, what is it you were just talking about there, my good man? Are we about to come under attack? I have the most terrible tidings. I know not what has driven them to it, but the monsters plan to attack our great city in force. Well, lucky I just built the flipping walls then, isn't it? Am I ready to face the fight? No. One thing I need to do first. Let's get as much healing salve as I can do. Uh, yeah, just make as much as possible. That's just two more. That's okay. So I've got six healing salve. An oaken club. I'll probably make another one of them just so I've got a spare. There we are. So now I've got a spare one. Do I have anything else I can make? No, I've already got the best armor and everything in the game. So that's fine. Yes, I'm ready to face the fight. We've got walls and everything. This is going to be absolutely fine. So, the battle begins. Defeat the monsters. Well, how are they planning to get in? Can they... They better not be able to jump over these walls. Because I made really, really good walls and everything. As it turns out... The sign was correct. The sign that specifically said the monsters always come from this direction. We should probably do something about that. The leader of the monsters has now appeared. Yep. But, uh, how are they? Ah! One of them has managed to find their way inside the city. Well, that's okay. Because if they just find their way in, like, one at a time, then this will all be absolutely fine. Right, one skeleton is dead. More skeletons are coming! Oh, there's many skeletons. Guys, there's way, way more skeletons than I think we were anticipating. Rollo, were you planning to help out with this in the slightest? And then with an oaken... Do I actually... Oh, you can hit multiple enemies at once. Well, that's good. And then just go, go, go. And then you're dead as well. Got my first pile of bones. Uh, is the leader in yet, by the way? Oh, Rollo's actually helping. I see him over there. Oh, no, I accidentally destroyed part of my house. Sorry. Yeah, no, I didn't. I know. I know. I'm very sorry about that. Look, just... I will go and assist Rollo in a second. I just need to rebuild the... Is that, is that it fixed? Yay! The stonemason's workshop is fixed. And I think Rollo just went and killed the leader of the monsters. Well done, my child. You have saved Candlin from the monsters' audacious advances. I'm gonna be honest, goddess friend. It was kind of that guy over there more than me. But I'm glad you weren't paying enough attention to notice.
I've done all I can for this benighted land, the rest is up to you, my child. Okay, so this is the end of all the tutorializing. Now we just do whatever we want. And with that, I get a pair of blue tablet fragments. Okay, and... The world has just gone swishy swishy boom. That'll teach them. We did it, etc. Okay, what does that mean? That's... Who the hell are you? Oh, we've just picked up a new person. Do I like you? Hello? I saw a great shaft of light on the horizon and thought it warranted investigation. Imagine my surprise when I discovered a bustling village. There's three of us here and it's made out of dirt. I think you're really misusing the word bustling there. Now, how exactly did the skeletons make it over the wall that I built? Was there like, there must be like a step on the other side that they were able to use to get up top or something. Can I, I can't break down those. I can break down this here rock just in case that gave them any height. And then... Yeah, how do they... Ah! This is how they made it up. Right here. Because though the wall was too high, there was the equivalent of steps. So we're just going to have to break these down. Once that's done, the wall should actually be pretty much... Yeah, good shape. Because yeah, as far as I can tell, you cannot jump from this pile of rocks up here. Though what I will do at some point when I get a better kind of crafting thing is, of course, break down this. So those two blue tablets can make a blue teleportal, an ancient artifact that conveys you to far-flung fields. Once place can be used to travel to and from another island, plus 100 points. Yeah, this is nice. Right flipping there. And a portal to another island has opened up. I wonder if this is a one-way thing or not. I've no bloody clue. Let's actually, you know what, screw it, let's... He's sleeping with my... Yep, he's sleeping with my wife again. Would you believe that the bloke who's regularly sleeping with my wife has suggested that it would be a brilliant idea if I actually just kind of stepped through the teleportal and disappeared off to God only knows where, leaving him and Pippa alone together? Bloody genius, this guy. Also, there's totally a monster trying to get into the city, but they can't get in because my walls are amazing. I ask that you find out how to build that most mighty of tools, the giant mallet. Ooh. The Canton Chronicle describes the giant mallet as a fearsome hammer strong enough to break huge boulders and fell great trees. Ah, now that's how I get to destroy everything if I want to. Beautiful. So monsters known as hammer hoods carry these giant mallets everywhere they go. I'm sure they could tell you how to build one, or I could just murder one and take it off him, whatever. Okay, so it's not that I build a new city every place, it's that I go to a new place, find new materials and schematics, then bring them back here to make this city better and better. Got it, so this will remain my home, and I can kind of tear it down and rebuild it as I wish. Well, that's nice, in which case, let's go through here and find ourselves a giant mallet. In we go, and... Zaboom! And thankfully, it is indeed apparently a two-way sort of thing. And now, I'm on a different island. And we need to use this, of course, because I can't actually bloody swim. So, yes, bit unfortunate. Oh, hang on. If I had enough earth, could I just theoretically just, like, build a little kind of bridge over towards that over there? I don't know. Maybe. Now, at first, I've got to find... Aha! Hello! I would like to be friends with you and learn the secret of your hammer. Could you please, hello? Could you please tell me the secret of your- No, no you can't find murder it is, murder fine. I've got my first clump of fur, and I've used that to figure out- Ah, leather armor, so I can make better armor. Good, good, and a leather shield too. Better and better. And these guys over here, there's more of them, but this time they're red, and that gives me orange oil. And what am I gonna learn from that? I can make wayfarer clothes. Faster movement, speed, and uh, defense plus five. Okay, so weaker, but lets me run faster. And magic dye, a rainbow-hued brew of colorful goo. All right, fine, whatever. I'll just have some colorful goo then. Yeah, let's head over here, because that's an actual door. Someone's built something. Or oh, this is uh, a remnant from the time before. So, step inside here. I've now got a bed if I want it, a campfire... A buildy table. Yeah, what new stuff can I build here? Presumably, I've got my new armor and whatever. And no, I don't have enough yet. The Wayfarer's clothes require... So that requires more coarse cloth and also cord. The leather armor requires a copper ingot that I don't have yet. And also cord. Fine, I need to find cord yet. And fur and wood. So I've got a mallet. I don't think I can have proper wood because I can't hack down the trees. 
Okay, that's one building. There's something else with a fire over here. So attack this guy, jump out of the way of his mal attack, and then finish him off. Lovely. Just keep on gathering the leather. I feel like that will be useful in time. Ah, the boss of these lads. Hello. Would you like to potentially actually, I'm just going to skip by you, just in case by any chance you keep the, like, you know, secrets of hammering up top here. But it would appear not, no. By any chance, would you like to speak and give me a nice alternative interesting quest option? Yeah, hello, talk to me. Well, bless my soul if it isn't a little human. Well, you're much friendlier than I was expecting. I'm Clobberina, the Head Hammerhood. I suppose you might call me the Hammerhead. What might a poor, beleaguered human want with me? I want to know how to make a giant hammer, please. Mercy me, you want to know how to make a giant hammer? To be honest, it is all your people have got going for you. Aside from, admittedly, lovely purple hoods. If you want to teach me how to make one of those too, I'd be open to it. My roof has three giant great holes in it. The wind comes right through it and plays havoc with my old bones. Okay, you just want me to plug up the roof. Well, that's absolutely fine. But I can't just use earth. They want straw floor. Got it. So I need to find straw. Okay, yeah, I'm sure I can do that, but I need the materials first. And you can use the ivy around here to meet... Ah, and cord. Perfect. So ivy produces cord and also straw floor blocks. So, piece of ivy. And obviously we know that can make cord, which is useful. Okay, picked up the cord. Now I know how to make straw floor. Because once you pick something up, you magically just know how it works. Five grassy leaves and three cord makes me ten straw floor tiles. Lovely. So now we just stand up here. Face downwards, place it, and place it, and place it, and there we are. Clobberina's roof has been repaired. You're very welcome. I did admittedly slightly break your door while I was doing it, but I hope you don't mind about that. All right, I'll help you, but this is just between you and me, dearie. Wouldn't want the Dragon Lord finding out now, would we? I like Clobberina. I also like the fact that despite the fact she's called Clobberina and is a large monster with a hammer, at no point have I had to actually murder her and she hasn't tried to murder me. That's lovely. So, a giant mallet is a tool attack plus eight can break harder blocks. Lovely. Now, let's just head up top and figure out what I'm going to need to make one of them. And as it turns out, just three broken branches. I would have thought, like, you know, a giant mallet you'd need something more than that, but no, just three branches is absolutely fine. In that case... I've got a giant mallet. Beautiful. And there we are. One giant mallet kaboom. Oh, and this thing just flipping shoes through earth like nobody's business. Nice. And that gets me my first lump of copper. I could use that to make a copper ingot if I could find out some more. And using that, I could make some better armor. Nice. And we got skeletons floating around too, but that's fine because I feel like I can handle the skeletons with my new mallet. Including, ooh, giant piles of these guys now. That's okay. And before I leave this island for good, well, actually, before I go down, I want to make sure I can get back up again. Uh, let's just go over down. This is probably, ah, the vines. I can climb down the vines. Yes, okay, fine. I can probably find my way back up again later. That's going to be fine. Excuse me. You're going to be dead now. No, no, no. Giant, giant. He did more damage to me than I did to him. That's embarrassing. Right, now we can take down a tree. Nice. So now I've got my first bit of lumber. So using lumber, I can potentially make wood. So I figured out how to make a piece of wood. Nice. And while I'm down here, may as well take some more of this stuff down right now. Just get a bit more wood going on. Lovely. All right, now we're flipping Minecrafting. Go up to a tree, beat up the tree, get wood out of the tree. Beautiful. And we can also break open big rocks for more stone. So my first stone will give me all sorts of ideas. I could use it to make a stone sword, obvious enough. So I can make myself a much better weapon. A stone table, good decoration there. A stone stool, all right, so all sorts of stuff that's good for the settlement, and a forge. Now that will presumably be much more important for making all sorts of other stuff, and steps too. And a blimey, okay, fine. So it can be used to build simple items and weapons, so I can build a mason's work table, good. Oh, and over here, I've found someone, hello. What's one of you? Are you, uh, you're just a person in a cave, you're alright. 
And, ah, monsters have shown up. Lovely. Well, unfortunately, I'm not actually that uh, well at the moment. So, just give me one second, please, to get over to my healing stuff. Lovely. Heal. And now, we just need to quickly murder you. And, oh dear, my ragged rags have just fallen apart. Apparently, they were taking damage this whole time. So, now, I'm literally naked. So, that's, that's good right there. Right. The easiest way to go in is just to tag... Jump back out the way, get a couple more attacks in. Yeah, you can basically avoid the attacks because they do have a bit of wind-up to them. And the monsters are defeated just quickly. A bit more healing salve there. Lovely, got myself a bit more... Ah, needed a bit more coarse cloth and everything. Now, you, my good man on this island, who... Well, as far as I can tell, this is all optional. Because I could have just travelled straight back to Rollo at this point. But no, this island's actually quite uh, large if you feel like exploring it. Very good. A town on the other side of the teleportal. Yes, why don't you come and join me, my good man? So, explore the areas you can go over to with the teleportals and you find new people to join your city. Lovely. So, he joins the party and anytime I want to, of course, I can use that Chimera wing thing I've got to just instantaneously travel back. But first, I just want a little bit more stone because I suspect stone will be very, very useful for lots of things. And I've also found my first lump of coal. So I can use that to make, yep, a burning bowl of fire that illuminates everything around it. Ooh, that sounds nice. I want one of them for the centre of the town, absolutely. So yeah, now I've got my mallet. I can do a lot more exploring around. Made myself a nice staircase up here. Night has fallen, however, and that means, yeah, it's much more difficult to mine. And the monsters become a lot tougher as well. Right, with night falling and me having absolutely no armour... Probably time for me to teleport home with the wing. And off we go. And John bangs his head on the ceiling. Oh, you've got to use it when you've got open sky above you. I see. And yeah, the monsters get super aggressive at night. They just charge at you. Right, I think we probably should be okay now. Now we're good. Did you just run away? I hope you didn't, because I really want you to come with me. We may have just left him behind. I quite like the fact if you try and use that while you're actually... No, he did come with me. Marvellous. Yeah, if you try and use that while you're actually uh, underground, you just bang your head. Lovely. Now, all that new stuff I found. All the new lovely things. Yes, I want a lovely big light for the town. That seems perfect. So we're going to put that right in the town. It'll kind of the central area right here. So... Right by where people enter? Yeah, this spot. That's that's not producing quite as much light as I was hoping for, but okay, it'll do. And for once, Bloody Rollo has learned his lesson, he is actually sleeping in the bed of shame. Perfect. Now, a stone sword gives you plus 11 attack, so it actually is actually more powerful for attacking than the mallet. Then the mallet is the only thing that can like, take down blocks really easily. Fine, but if you actually want to fight monsters, stone sword is for the best. What I need is, ah, a forge which I need a tiny bit more coal for first. But before that, I can indeed make myself Wayfarer clothes, so I can actually run around faster, better and better. There we are, bit of defense, and I can run a bit faster too, perfect. And speak of the devil, if we just kind of go very close by to the starting location right here, we do indeed have ourselves a ton of coal in these cliffs through the first of the portals. And I've got clay as well. Apparently there's another different thing here. So, crockery for decoration. Lovely. And tragically, I've managed to work my way through my entire first mallet. There it has broken from overuse. Understandable, really. I have been using it quite a lot. So, back through to town. So, forge. That's the new thing. Get one of them going on. That feels kind of important. Lovely. I've made a forge. Now, if we put one of those down... And I'm guessing, yep, that can go right here. Bloody Rollo. Rollo, you're, you're, you're getting in the way, Rollo. Rollo. And there we are. We now have a stonemason smithy. Lovely. So as a result, my town has got a bit better. Everyone, everyone flipping runs over to look at my new room and applaud and yell incredible at me. Perfect. Uh, guys, just stop applauding for a second. I'm really more interested in actually, you know, forging some stuff. So... I can make copper ingots with my copper. Obviously, you need to throw coal in as well because it needs to, like, burn. So I can turn, uh, yeah, copper into copper ingots. Just use all available material. And that means I get myself a ton of copper. Lovely. That teaches me how to use a sconce. So now, ah, now I can have torches fitted to walls. That's much better. And also the copper sword, even better weaponry. 
We want to turn clay and coal into brick walls, so much better quality walls there. And then once I've got brick walls, I can build a uh, brick cladding. So a covering that adds class to any earthen wall. Ah, okay, so changes nearby earth walls into brick wall blocks. That strikes me as quite good. Yes, so hang on, I feel like I could actually do some of that. Or flagstone. So that's basically just a nice bit of flooring. Got it. Well, all right, let's make, uh, so brick wall makes, how many of those? So that's times 10 in one go. If I was to convert, yeah, let's use uh, 30 bricks. Bricks can be converted into brick cladding, so changes nearby earth walls into brick wall blocks. Sure, I'll make a couple of them at least. I mean, I'm mainly interested in making my house look a bit nicer, to be honest. So brick cladding, if I just use this now... Then, ah, earth blocks just magically change into, they look brickish. Okay, so that's nice. If I just use this here, then that just becomes, yeah, brickish. And a bit more brickish. If you use it on the corner, presumably it's a little bit more efficient. Darn it, it did not tell me exactly how much that would do. And just go over here. Yeah, this I quite like. And then this spot right here. And then this spot right here. And then this spot right Yeah, this makes the whole thing look a lot. Why did you two not turn it up? I didn't really want you guys to be bricks, but all right, whatever, you're bricks. Now, fine. Well, it's not quite all of it yet, but yeah, I do see how that works. I just kind of use that as a magic spell. Now my kitchen looks a lot nicer. Perfect. My wood teaches me how to make benches. Very, very good indeed. As well as, ah, a proper door. Well, a saloon door, at least. Now, using my new copper ingots and my new wood, I can actually make myself a leather armor and leather shield. Perfect. And with my forge, I can make myself a copper sword. So just quickly forge that for myself as well. One copper sword. Okay, now... Oh, yeah. Now, now the monsters don't stand a chance. Oi! One of you lads, come over here. Oh, it's going to be night soon, is it? I look forward to that. Oh, ten damage a swing. Screw flipping you. So I can make myself a nice bench using cord and wood. Yep, let's make a classy bench for everyone to sit on. And I think it would be nice for everyone to sit right here in front of the fire. That's a lovely little thing to have out in public, I'd say. Now I can also turn, and now I've got the straw flooring, any, uh, yeah, any earth tiles into straw. And that includes, ah, that's literally anything, got it. And it only affects the same level you're on, which is nice. So I can make this area feel a bit more classy. Nice, including, yeah, going in here. This is now straw. Ah, this is good. Well, first things first, my house needs to be kind of at the top of the list here because I'm actually important. Now that's beautiful. Got some actual flooring going on there. Very good. I think we'll have this little area over here be kind of strawy as well. There we are. Now I've got a little deck. Deck to have drinks out on because I am the mayor. There we are, with just a bit more brick cladding there. I found Rome made of stone, but left it made of marble. Marvellous. Now, I've also got a stone table over here, so I'm going to pop that down there, together with some stone stools next to it. There we are, so now me and the wife have somewhere to have dinner. Lovely. Now, conveniently, I can also get rid of these rocks outside of my city at this point which is good with my hammer, which means there's definitely going to be no back way in for any of the monsters. I can also just quickly finish up converting everything into stone. Very nice. Oh no, this is actually really interesting. So if you get yourself the, um, the brick cladding, and you use that to convert a bunch of dirt into brick, and then you break it, the stone that you actually get out of that is brick. That is, yeah, that's actual brick wall. So if you want to... Yeah, if you want to make brick, actually, the most efficient thing you could do would be take one brick, turn that into, I think it's five brick claddings, take those five brick claddings and use that to make earth into brick, and then basically get the brick out of that. Ah, this is genius. Ah, and as for the monsters that live here now... Hello, lads, I've now got a much better sword. Dear, oh dear for you. And now I've got a set of crockery for me and the wife. Lovely. So now when we eat together, we can actually have, well, we can have one plate each and then we have to share a mug. So only one of us actually gets a drink. So that's 
I'm sure that's fine. That's 100% fine. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, as I sit here in front of the fire that I built, on the bench that I built, in this city that I have built and then converted into a grand brick citadel, I think you get the idea here. Yes, indeed, this is Minecraft, but with actual proper tutorialising and with a bit of, like, context and story and a quest structure that kind of makes progress feel a little bit more real to me. Because, yeah, Minecraft I always loved conceptually, but I always felt it just needed a bit more context for me to understand what was going on. A bit more of, you know, like, a base and people and stuff to defend and just... Just a very bare bones of context to get me a bit more invested. And that's what Dragon Quest Builders does. It's very simple. If you've played Minecraft, it will all be instantly familiar to you. In fact, probably if you've played Minecraft, you might be a little bit frustrated by how slow it is to uh, get going. So you'll be introducing concepts you're very, very familiar with for the early parts of the game. But, oh, it's just... it's just nice. And I kind of, ooh, I wouldn't mind setting up like a big town hall here. Like a big, like, open roaring fire at the end and like big long tables for us to all sit and dine together. And I want more furniture for my room. We've got this nice little kind of entrance area here with a teleporter and a massive chest of doom. And, oh yeah, it's just, it's just a nice, sweet little game. PS4 exclusive, actually PS4, PS3, and I believe PS Vita exclusive so uh sadly not on steam yet this was made exclusively for ps4 no idea if there's like any plans for a port at any time if there is i will probably flag it on twitter or something but yes this is actually pretty darn good i didn't really come in knowing what to expect like conceptually it seemed like a good idea to me just basically make minecraft but with a bit more context but yeah this has been a lovely little experience. I've enjoyed this immensely. So, Dragon Quest Builders, pretty darn good. Link in the description below. And if you enjoy your Minecrafty, buildy, crafty things, may well be worth a look. So, more of this sort of thing at some point, I'm sure, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been Johnson's been many a true nerd. And this has been Dragon Quest Builders. Thank you very much, and goodbye. We're going to build a large green park as a memorial to the bloody place that wouldn't stop burning down. Oh gosh darn it, the building next door is just catching fire instead. Can I just kind of demolish a church or something to make room for it? Because I will. Then next to the magnificent city hall, a giant statue of me.